you're a dedicated lawn care enthusiast. You mow once a week. Your lawn is looking good, but you're noticing something really, really weird about your lawn. You're getting this weird brown haze after a nice cut. I mean, you just cut your lawn. It should be nice and sharp and look good, but then after a couple days, it looks brown. You're watering, your fertilizer's down. What's going on? You look underneath your mower and you notice the blades are messed up. The blades are all chipped and nasty and they're dull. Yeah. This blade has seen better days. A uh, yikes. Now, a lot of us don't have a grinder. We don't even have a workbench. We don't have all that to sharpen a blade, right? Or you could call someone and see how much it costs to sharpen your blade. Yeah, so how much would it cost for a single blade and then also for a dual blade? It's gonna be $20 each. So $20 for the one blade and then 40 for double blade. Exactly. So 20 plus, each. Plus tax. Thank you so much. 20 bucks per blade plus tax to sharpen your old, dull, chippy, rock hitty blade that you've had for a couple years now. The first thing I do, I unplug the spark plug because as you're rotating, this could automatically start on you and you don't want to lose your fingers. Very rare, but just to be safe. And then we tip the mower back. Find the right size socket wrench. The blade is spinning which way? This way? Grab a piece of wood, block that off. That's gonna hold it in place so it doesn't spin. I use my pro plugger to get leverage. Oh yes, look at that. Pro plugger to the rescue. Look at that. Now that you have your blade off, pretty simple, right? Some people use impact guns. I don't believe in that because you could bend the drive shaft. You can strip something. It's not very smart to do that. Just get an old socket wrench, use some leverage with a big pipe, or like me, I use my pro plugger. But as you can see, it's chippy and denty, right? How are we gonna sharpen this? We're not, we're gonna use this, yeah our debit card, because we're just gonna buy one. Are you kidding me? You're gonna send this in for 20 bucks, there's still gonna be rock chips in there? What are they gonna put JB Weld and then sand it for you? No, just go buy a new one. This is probably the easiest thing you can do in your lawn care journey, is to take off the blade and just replace it. You see that? You know what? I'm gonna go to the store with you. But yard bro, I see a bunch of people just sharpening their blades. Well, yeah, they have a new mower and they're seasoned veterans who know how to sharpen their blade. You just used your mower, haven't sharpened it. Now you got to replace it. In the future, you have a chance now to get your grinder or your sharpening stone. But this is the easiest way. Don't deal with the old stuff. You're going to pay 20 bucks to get that dull blade sharpened with all the rock chips. No, I'm going to show you at the store how much these are. You're gonna wanna go to the lawnmower section and find some blades. You're gonna wanna know your deck size. In this case, the Troy Built TB110 is a 21 inch. You might not get a Troy Built, but there should be some universal ones that'll fit. Let's check it out. Hello, we got a universal one right here. Oh, this is Troy Built. What am I, what am I thinking? We lucked out because they actually have a Troy Built blade, same exact. This blade right here, brand new, $28. So $20 plus tax, driving all the way out there, waiting a week, maybe two weeks to get your blade sharpened, or just go to the big box and replace it, okay? Now there are two different types of blades, just a regular blade or a mulching blade. This one is a mulching blade that came with it stock. I'm gonna show you how much grinders are as well, just in case in the future, you're gonna wanna start grinding this brand new blade. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to do that. Now this is the other tool. This is the blade sharpener tool. It's not bad. I mean, it gets the job done for the meantime, but are you really gonna use this on this? Nah, this is, this is done. This is so dull and lifeless. It's time for the brand new hotness. Let's go check out the grinders. 249 without a battery. And then you still have to get the grinder tool or just buy yourself a $28 blade. That's ridiculous. Let's, let's try to find a cheaper one. Okay, here's a cheaper one, 7917. That's not bad, that's not bad, but then we still have to buy the battery. Okay, here's a Craftsman for 119. Uh, does it come with battery? Battery and charger sold separately. I can't find any corded ones anymore. I don't know if they just discontinued corded, but at the big box store, no luck. Guys, I was mistaken. 
this was in the wrong section so the subtotal this is actually a $19.78 blade so the total price $21.76 it's cheaper than the service brand new Troy built same exact blade for $19.78. I mean, I'm just here to help you guys out. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm learning from experience. I mean, you could probably go to Harbor Freight and get like a $30, $40 grinder, and then your disc to sharpen it, it's gonna be another 10, 12 bucks. You see what I'm saying? Just get, just save the headache. Replace the blade. Okay, I don't wanna lead you guys to stray because you're gonna eventually need an angle grinder. I mean, I need to get an angle grinder myself. But let's just look. Harbor Freight, because you know that's the cheapest place to get one. Ooh, hello. Okay, guys, they have a $14.99, 4 4.3 amp. Okay, that's cheap, $19.99. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You have grinders available that are dirt cheap and probably come with warranty. And like I said, you're gonna need one of these eventually to keep up the maintenance on the blade you just bought. But yeah, Harbor Freight, corded angle grinder, $14.99. And if you have the membership, it might be even cheaper. You know what I mean? So there's a good option. The process is pretty simple to put it back. Just reverse the process. <laughs> there is one tool I do recommend. It is a torque wrench because you want the proper torque on the blade. You can go to Harbor Freight. They're dirt cheap, super dirt cheap. Open your blade. On the bottom, it says bottom. Most blades say bottom. That means this is the bottom. <laughs> bottom. Bottom, not like this. Bottom. Just go ahead and put this guy back on the drive shaft. Put this on there, nice and good. Screw it on, hand tighten. Make sure this lines up. Okay, good. Hand tight. Everything's lined up. That one says bottom. That one says bottom. Good, good, good. Sorry, the blade is stupid dirt, or the deck is super dirty. Let's go ahead and tighten it by hand. Just so we get a little bit of action going on. So the blade's gonna spin this way, so you're gonna put the, the block there again. The wood to block it off. Boom. First, you're gonna wanna know what torque to torque it down at. So go ahead and Google that real quick. It's usually around 40 to 50 pounds, but I'm gonna double check for you guys just to be safe. You're gonna wanna go to the manual. This is a Troy Built TB110. Let's see what it says. 450 inches per pound. Okay. 450, maximum 600 inches pounds per torque. You're gonna want to do 37.5 foot pounds of torque. So I was close. We're gonna go 40 just to be safe. You should be greasing up the drive shaft. Let's do that. Let's spray a little bit of WD-40 in there. Just to be safe. Yes, sir. Wipe off the excess. Fresh blade. Can't wait to tighten it up. That's 40. You start it up to make sure it's not shaky, wobbly, all that craziness. Because if it's shaking or wobbling, the blade is out of balance. Guess what? Brand new, factory built. It's not It's not going to shake on you. <laughs> let's measure the height of cut and let's go do some mowing, huh?
at the end of the day, blades are actually really cheap. So if yours is denty and rock chippy and it's been a while, skip the sharpening and just buy a new one. <laughs> Guys, if your mower isn't running, check out this video right here and get it running because it's peak season. Make it easy.